are going to clean out my fridge it is in need of some serious cleaning as you can see from the outside <laughs> let's go in so from the inside there's still some stuff inside i'm supposed to click out not so much stuff and over the side so guys let me just take it out and clean out the fridge so with the freezer same thing with the freezer same thing okay guys so let me get to work i did let the fridge get dirty a bit so that you can see like the actual cleanup because i've noticed many clean the fridge with me videos and not that the fridge is not that dirty so i'm like what are we cleaning <laughs> anyway guys let's get into it okay guys first things first is to switch off the fridge and then find something to prop the door open before i start clearing out the fridge I take things out one by one. You can even see my spritz bottle is always in the fridge. avocados in an airtight container and this ensures that it doesn't oxidize and turn black if you have watched my vlog you probably have seen me make this particular juicy so go check out my previous video guys I have held on to these empty jars just to remind me to repurchase this hoisin sauce and mustard dijon they are really good guys they're really good <laughs> once all the products are out now it's time to remove all the shelves and i remove everything guys i clear out the fridge let's talk about these gloves a little bit later right now i'm drinking my juice for some extra boost of energy because mimi i run on sugar <laughs> now these gloves what's up with these cheap gloves that you need to repurchase over and over like can somebody please recommend for me a good durable gloves for like the kitchen and the bathroom because i've been repurchasing and then you see they damage they get damaged really easily <sighs> guys leave a comment giving me recommendations please so i bought this brush for the kitchen it is a soft bristol brush the brown part is plastic it's not a wooden and i bought it because i need to reach some hard places like in the crevices so it has come in so handy and i suggest you get yourself one i don't think i've mentioned this but my shelves are made of glass so i have to be extra careful when i'm handling it when i'm washing it so yeah that is why <laughs> the gloves are coming in handy because they're giving me like extra grip but yes i have to be extra careful so this also means that my super bright is not new 
it's not scratchy it's an old one and if it was new I would have just used the sponge part so that I don't cause scratches on the glass cleaning the actual fridge I don't use a lot of water I just use water that has soaked up on the sponge and then later on go in with a clean damp cloth and then wipe down everything So I'm going to start the organization video this part of the video from the bottom half so here are my juices now these juices I usually pick my juices based on whether I can make them myself so I can't make pink guava peach juice uh, orange juice I can make orange juice but it won't be as good as the bot one and also white grape so that's what I do in terms of picking out my juices and then when you come up here we have apple cider vinegar some uh, peri peri garlic peri peri sauce and some this fish sauce smells like fish and then back here is my mayo if you have seen my vlog you've seen this mayo I explained how you can make it it's basically mint uh, meat leaves lemon juice and mayo sauce so that's one of my sauces I don't have ketchup I forgot to buy ketchup okay to this multi storage basket I have all my just two because <laughs> two can fit in here but two of my yogurt I make wild berries and strawberries so yeah Okay, moving up here, these are my tall, tall um, bottles that I can't really keep in the other section. So um, I use this white sweet wine for cooking, especially, and it's so affordable <laughs> for cooking my white meat. They did have red, the blackbird red sweet i use that for my wet uh my red meat so i'll add that to the stash at least i have some space and then some soy sauce i use the mushroom dark by now i think you guys know i love mushroom mushroom dark soy sauce and then we have the aloe vera i you've seen this in my smoothie video and then natural yogurt i also use this for my face masks as well as my cooking so if you want to cook something like biryani you know uh, you need some natural yogurt also if you want to make like chicken tikka which we'll make very soon <laughs> you need natural yogurt so for marinade for my marinade okay up here are my 
new organization so this one is slide it's an easy slide so slide out when you want to pick anything so here i have my fresh juice my fresh milk i'm going to add mala they didn't have mala this is yogurt that was still there and then this here is my milk and then here are my tomato this is actually tomato paste not tomato puree but yeah onion puree this is from when i make my garlic and onion juice i usually store this one here and i can use it to cook sauces and also to mix it with my avocado for my avocado dip you add mustard and <laughs> you eat it with your crisps and then this is chili homemade chili and this is fresh cream so when i boil milk the cream i put it in here this i use to cook my uh, spinach or my traditional burger so this is my organized top part oh in here are my diy things oh i have sweet chili for african kaya i don't know if she's still african kaya or she's switched her name to the i'll just put a link in the description box she has nice homemade sweet chili jam she has bacon sweet jam i mean african kaya wow. so she has more sauces and she's also making a lot of uji packs so yes i'll put a link for you to check it out this is my diy if you can see visually this is liquidy this is uh a tea and this is my homemade uh chili i use this jars i repurpose my kentis there that is my diy um what's it called my diy this, uh, this is my diy pumpkin deep conditioner that i'm going to use very soon like in a couple of days <laughs> yeah so that's the top part the fresh room now moving on to this part of the <laughs> it doesn't slide but i'm going to slide for the purpose of the video let me see if i can slide it it can't slide so i'll have to do it manually <laughs> so these are my veggies lettuce uh, tomatoes i haven't done a good veggie um what's it called a good veggie haul i mean i haven't done good veggie shopping excuse me guys all right so i haven't done a good veggie shopping these are still my diy stuff this i'm supposed to make some cashew milk so this is cashew uh just soaking overnight I'm supposed to let it soak overnight let me put these ones up here these ones right here are my papaya i'm going to make a body mask with it for another video so stay tuned for that papaya is really good for exfoliating your body so and you guys know we are not physically exfoliating so we have to look for other alternatives which are natural and good for us yes this is my barrel bread let me put it down here up here and those are my mm, dairy fresh milk i use this with my oat milk oat milk old oat meal my overnight oat meal now i usually love the banana and the vanilla flavor but this time i decided to take all of them that six pack value pack so that i can try out the rest so strawberry bubble gum coffee and chocolate so there these are my fresh dairy fresh milk flavored milk <laughs> and here are my leftovers so this is leftover dingo and this in here is my avocados i try to eat an avocado a day guys that's how that's one of the reasons i put on weight <laughs> 
now down here i don't have anything yet i've bought some apples today and some grapes so let me see if i can fit that in and then we see how it looks overall so that's the big box where you're supposed to put your fruits and veggies okay guys so we are back and this is how the bottom uh, big box looks like it has six apples and a pack of grapes now i don't like how apples and grapes taste like in my smoothies so these are the, one of the few fruits that i opt to just eat like that okay so yeah guys that is my bottom fridge it's going to be more full with all of my <laughs> with all of my leftovers once i start cooking but yeah let me show you guys like an overview the freezer <laughs> now this is my freezer uh, let me break it down to you guys it's not as organized as, as I would have lo well, loved it to be but let's just start so this is my DIY corner <laughs> you can see some things some familiar things so these are my henna DIY henna packs already ready to be used this is okra these two are onion juice at the back there there is oh jesus at the back there at the back there <laughs> with some spillage is pumpkin puree now this side this is my mint leaves and this side over here these are all my frozen fruit so frozen banana blueberries this is uh it called beetroot and this is uh, kiwi over here this this over here <laughs> is chicken stock chicken stock mushroom soup mushroom sauce mushroom sauce these are sausages sausages so I buy the 26 value pack sausages and then I just separate them so these are sausages in here I don't think you can see them but they're in here so those are sausages these are th those are dingoes these are sausages and then there's another pack over here so this is <laughs> I'm all over the places so this is chicken a full chicken i'm going to cut it up and have like two of each like two breasts two size two four wings actually four wings <laughs> And then this over here, since I don't have ice, I haven't dropped the ice yet. This is the second pack of the sausages. So, sausages, sausages, and then whoop, when this thing falls on you, it's crazy. So, sausages. Sometimes I have to use this uh, ice, this ice max. <laughs> ice box just to fit stuff in but yeah that is that section <laughs> not as organized as you would think but it's clean it's clean hey and then this side which is more organized um, let's start from up here we have some garlic salami we have some some cheese some mozzarella and panea i had feta and more mozzarella but it's done <laughs> some of it is in the mushroom sauce okay and then here we have this is this is uh, pomegranate i showed you guys on instagram how i took them out and then these are strawberries frozen strawberries so yeah guys that's my freezer i'm supposed to get more pork and fish fish or fish fillet and uh minced meat for my meatballs and burger parties so yeah guys 
that is it i don't know if i'll have space and i also bought ndengu and beans i'm supposed to put them in there because i always alternate between meat and meatless meat and meatless because that's the healthy way of living so guys that's my freezer guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one Mwah. bye guys Thank you.